Hello everyone, this is Mumba and welcome back to another Minecraft video and in this one we're going to be building a home cinema. Now the plan for this video is really quite simple, we're going to build the framework, then we're going to do all of the decoration and then we're going to chuck in all of the redstone because of course this needs to be redstone power. We're going to have a working screen and also a working light system which should look absolutely fantastic. Now for this build you're going to need a 12 wide by 13 long by 8 high area which means it's relatively small and you should be able to chuck it in pretty much anywhere in your base. All right, so the first thing that we're going to be building is going to be the flooring area, and we're going to be using black wool. Now, you may notice from this build, I'm going to be using quite a few dark blocks. That's simply because we're building a cinema, and you don't want that to be particularly brightly colored because that would be very distracting from the film. I mean, can you imagine going to a Technicolor cinema? It'd be really awful. So we're going to be using quite a few blacks and quite a few deep reds and things like that in this build, but you can change them up however you really fancy. If you want to build a Technicolor cinema, then go ahead, do whatever you really fancy. But anyway, we've built a seven by four platform right here, and then we're going to build another platform out the back, and this is going to be the area for all of our seats. So what I'm going to do is chuck a line of three seats going across like this, and three seats across like this with an aisle going through the middle, and then we're going to have seats for all of your friends out the back as well. Next up, we're going to be building arguably the most important part of the cinema, which is of course the screen. Now for this, I'm going to be using coal blocks, but you can switch these up however you really want to, because I know quite a few of you don't particularly like coal blocks, or perhaps if you're building this in survival mode, don't really fancy investing all of that coal. So we're going to go all the way across our entire cinema, then we're going to go three blocks up like this, and we're going to place our other line above that, just like that. And that will give us a sort of wide screen, which looks pretty cool. I mean, that's a good size. I would be very chuffed if I had this inside my house. And of course, we're going to be filling all of this in with redstone later on. So we're going to have our moving screen on the inside of that thing, which is going to be very exciting indeed. But anyway, it is now time to start work on the walls. And as I said earlier on, we're going to be using red, black, and we're also going to be chucking in some note blocks. The way that I'm going to be building these is I'm going to chuck the red up against the screen, and then at the bottom and the top, I'm going to place in my coal blocks, and in between those, I'm going to throw in some note blocks. Now, my reasoning for this is because, generally speaking, when you're at the cinema, they've got speakers on the walls, and then just underneath and above those, they have the soundproofing foam. Now, you're going to have to use your imagination just a tiny bit here. Of course, we are playing Minecraft, but they look quite a bit like speakers, and that looks quite a bit like soundproofing foam. I don't know if I'm going crazy here. Let me know down in the comment section but I'd say that's a pretty good switch up. But anyway, between these, I'm going to place a two wide area of red hardened clay. Then we're going to throw in a coal block at the bottom. And once again, a double speaker, and then our coal blocks there, and then throw in some more red hardened clay on the side and repeat that on this side as well. So things are really starting to come together here. This is actually starting to look like a movie theater, which is always an exciting thing. So now we're going to spin it round and do the back of the cinema. So we're going to do a pretty similar style right here. We're going to have once again, our red and then we're going to have our black down at the bottom our speaker and then our black and then we're going to have a three wide area right here and then we're going to have our black our note block and then our black ones again and that is going to make up the back side wall so there we go that is our cinema pretty much all completed just make sure that you fill in all of the blocks and then you want to go up to the top and chuck in the ceiling and for this i haven't done anything particularly fancy i'm just going to throw in a bunch of black wool i personally think this place is now looking pretty cool i mean it's definitely looking like a movie theater that's fairly unmistakable and there's just a few details that I want to add into the room. The first thing I want to do is create a projector out the back, and then we're going to chuck our redstone lamps in all four corners of the ceiling. So you just want to place them one block in from the edge, just like that, and those are going to be toggled on and off using redstone. But the final thing that we need to do is just pop around the back here, chuck in some iron, and now we have a working projector window, which looks sort of legitimate. I mean, once again, this is Minecraft. You can't go too crazy. Finally, the boring part is out of the way. Our home cinema has been fully constructed. Now it is time to chuck away all of those building blocks from your hotbar and get some redstone in there, which is always an exciting feeling because this means that things are about to get technical and we're about to hook up our redstone lamps and also make sure that our screen actually works because that's the most exciting part of this build. If that didn't happen, then this would be pretty rubbish. So what we're going to do is place a button down in this corner. Then we're going to place a block down the bottom here with redstone dust on top. And we're going to run this redstone signal up through the circuitry and into a T flip flop. Now the way that we're going to do that is by placing some upside down half slabs going all the way up here. And then on top of those half slabs, you want to place in your redstone dust just like that. And that's going to be going into this sticky piston facing upwards with a block on top, which will create a one tick monostable circuit. And we're going to take the output from this and run it into a sticky piston facing across here with a redstone block on its face. Now the redstone block is going to be spat out by this system. And we want that to power all of this redstone, which means that when we hit that button, it will actually switch on our redstone lamps permanently. So let's have a look. If we hit this button right here, you can see all of our redstone lamps turn on. And if we hit the button once again, all of the redstone lamps turn off. That is absolutely perfect. 
that's how we want it. So now it's time to start work on the screen itself. And the way that we're going to do this is by using a piston feed tape, which is a relatively complicated circuit, but it's going to be perfect for our screen. So you want to place one, two, three pistons facing in this direction. Then you want to go a couple blocks across like this and place another three pistons facing in this direction right there, then take out those blocks. Then you want to go over to the other side and place pistons facing across like this. So once again, one, two, three regular pistons. And then on the side of that one, you just want to go across like that and place another three pistons in this direction. Now, for those of you who are a little bit observant, you may notice that all of these pistons are facing in different directions. And that's because when these pistons push this block across, it will go across like that. Then it will go across in this direction. And then the block will be pushed across like this. And then this piston will push it back across like that, which basically means that we have a circle of cycling blocks. It's known as a piston feed tape, and it's going to be brilliant. To wire up all of your pistons, we're actually going to be using a pretty cool trick. Now what we're going to do is place a block here, and then a block down at the bottom, and a block like this, with a repeater set to two ticks facing in this direction, and redstone dust on top of both of these. That will wire up all of these pistons. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other side, so that is a block here, then a block down like this, and a block right there. Redstone dust on top of both of those, and a repeater set to two ticks running into that block right there. Then you want to go a couple blocks across like this, place a repeater facing in this direction, a sticky piston facing upwards with a block on top, two blocks going across like this with redstone dust on top of both of those, sticky piston there, block on top, and then another repeater running out in this direction. Now that's all of the redstone circuitry done, and you may be sat there thinking, Mumbo, you've sort of missed something here because this isn't powering this. But here's the thing, inside our piston feed tape, we're going to have a bunch of solid blocks, so it will sort of work a little bit like this. Now if we power this redstone line, you can see all of our pistons will extend and that means that our piston feed tape is going to be working and all of the circuitry is pretty much happening within the feed tape, which I personally think is really quite cool. For the final bit of redstone, you want to hook up this circuit right here into this circuit right here. And the way that we're going to do that is by placing redstone in like this, then place your hoppers running into one another just like that. We're going to throw an item inside those hoppers shortly, but for now we're going to place a comparator with a block up like this, redstone dust on top like that, and then you want to place a block right here with a sticky piston facing downwards and a redstone block on its face. Then if we place an item inside this hopper, you can see that the entire thing kicks into action. All of the lights have turned off and our piston feed tape is running, which means our movie is currently on. But if we hit the button once again, everything should shut off relatively quickly. Now it is time to actually build your movie. You are going to create a movie that is going to be shown on your home cinema using wall clocks. Now I have to say, it's not going to be particularly high tech and it's probably not going to win you any Oscars, but it should look pretty good in the context of this build. So the way that we're going to do it is we're going to place in random colors of wool going around like this. Now there is one thing that I just want to point out and that is the fact that you should miss out this block right here and this block right here. So you're going to have the opposite side. So this block needs to be missing and this block over here needs to be missing. You just need to leave gaps in both of those sections. But other than that, build it right the way up to the top. And there we go. That is our film fully created. You can see that I've got a gap in this corner and a gap going down to the bottom in this corner. But other than that, all of the blocks are filled in. It's looking pretty crazy. And if we just pop inside here, it looks quite cool on our movie screen. Now, currently, all of the lights are on. The film is not showing. We're going to throw a door in this corner here. That's going to be the entrance. But now when we hit this button, all of the lights turn off and our movie starts rolling and it even flickers with the fact that the blocks go transparent for a little while which is really cool it's a nice little detail and i think this build is absolutely awesome now there is one final thing that i just want to add at the end of today's video which could be interesting for quite a few as you guys have seen our home theater is currently button operated but you might want to put a disc in and you might also want some music playing while your film plays as well so what i thought we could do is chuck a duke blocks in this corner right here we could take out all of these blocks and instead we're going to run a comparator output from this jukebox that is going to run up into the redstone circuit. So what you have to do is take a comparator output from this one right here. You want to take out that block there, place a block like this, and then a repeater facing in this direction with a block up like that and redstone dust on top of that block. And what that means is it will take the comparator output from this jukebox and run it up into the redstone circuit. Now the cool thing about this is, is of course, when your disc actually finishes playing, you can make the movie automatically stop by removing this T flip flop right here and just running the redstone circuit directly in using a redstone torch and then a repeater going into the circuitry. So that will be everything finished. If we just fill in this block right here, head around the front and throw cats into the jukebox, everything will fire into action. I'll be honest, I don't think it looks quite as cool as a button, 
but it definitely works quite nicely. And this is by far one of my favourite songs in all of Minecraft, so I'm going to leave it running for the rest of the video, because unfortunately, ladies and gents, that is all I've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, and if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you next time.